Soul Soul Simmers, my name is Darth Jeswick and welcome back to my channel. Today we're building in Tamarang on the Easter Riverfront lot. Uh, this is a 20 by 20 lot and I tried to make it a starter home, I really did, but the furniture from this pack is a little bit more expensive than I thought, so it ended up being a little bit more expensive. I think it's about 35,000 simoleons at the end of it. And aside from the base game, it only uses the for rent pack and cats and dogs because our tester sim has a dog. Speaking of our tester sim, she is Gia Kano. She has the Fountain of Tamarani Knowledge Aspiration, which gives her the Home Turf bonus trait. Uh, she's also a goofball, child of the village, and generous. And she has a chihuahua named Bear. He is vocal, energetic, and friendly. And you should be able to find them on the gallery. It's just Darth underscore Jeswick, just like it appears here on YouTube. But let's get into the build now, shall we? Um, I'm just putting the roofs on. I wanted it to have like a small covered port in the front and in the back kind of like a suburban like a more modern kind of Thai inspired house I haven't really built that much with the format pack unless it's like an apartment uh, so this is gonna be pretty fun for me I like this stuff from the format pack I just haven't really have the opportunity to use it so I hope that I do it justice got a few roof tiles from that pack so I use this bright red one that looks a little bit faded and I really like the kind of faded version because it's a lot more realistic you know nothing's gonna be perfect all the time I also got a few new tiles for for like the bathroom and the kitchen. I'm using this bright yellow one that has like a liner around the outside, which I think is pretty cool. We also got a few wallpapers from that pack. Um, I'm gonna use this red one just to bring out some of the red from the roof, as well as the red in the tiles of the floor. And then I'm gonna use the paneling in the hallway, the living room, and in the dining room. And then I'm also gonna bring the tile and the wallpaper from the bathroom down to the kitchen, just because I think that using the same tile in the bathroom in the kitchen is pretty realistic. And I waited till I had all of my floor plan done until I actually went in and put windows on. Sometimes I put them on before, sometimes I don't. But I was really, really struggling with the floor plan on this. I don't know why. I was just struggling in general because I really didn't feel motivated to build but I was like I really want to do something and like this was the only thing that like really caught my eye you know this is the only thing I really felt like building I didn't want to do anything like super in-depth like I want to try to build Franklin's mansion and I keep talking about it and I want to do it I just haven't had the motivation to like actually go into GTA and play up to the point where Franklin gets his mansion so that I can just like look around and not have to like look at a video so I can just like stand in each room as Franklin and then just like do the room as I'm building. I don't know. I just haven't had the time to do that. Not gonna lie, I've been a little bit busy playing Pal World. Um, put a couple videos of it on my channel. So if you haven't checked those out and you have no idea what Pal World is, feel free to go check out those videos. I have them in a playlist. If you haven't played Pal World, it's kind of like Pokemon, only with weapons and you like go around catching these creatures and they can like build stuff for you. They can help you like plant your garden and water stuff and like cook. It's really cool. Like it's slowly becoming one of my favorite games of all time. Like in general, I have it ranked higher than like Grand Theft Auto right now because there's endless possibilities. You can set up your base anywhere and do something completely different. You can only catch certain creatures if you really wanted to. And I, I just really enjoy it. So if you want to check those out, uh, feel free to. But we're moving on to the kitchen now. I've got the appliances that are like not the cheapest appliances, but they're like one step above the cheapest appliances. And it's mostly because I hate the mood that where their food tastes like fridge. Um, I don't like that feeling either, so I don't like my Sims to have it. I also gave them the new dishwasher from the Forent pack. It's like a half dishwasher. The only problem I have with them is that I wish they would fit on a half counter, but they don't. They have to slot to a full size counter. That's the only problem I have with them, and maybe they'll add that in a future update. I kind of hope they do, because I've seen a lot of simmers talking about it. But we're going to be moving upstairs to the bedroom now. I wanted to use the canopy bed from the floor rent pack because I love it so much. It's so pretty. Uh, we finally got another canopy bed, really bringing in some of the red from the roof in this bedroom, though I did paint the walls like a light purple. You can't really tell, though. We got a couple of new wardrobes from the for rent pack, but I'm gonna go with this tall one and a mirror from the base game as well as this plant. It's like a pineapple, I think. Um, I did have to size it up one because it was a little bit small, but that's fine. And then I'm also gonna use some curtains from the new pack as well. Uh, I was gonna use these like light purple ones, but it doesn't really match with the comforter, so I ended up changing it to these red ones here with the yellow details on them. 
But we're going to be moving on to the bathroom now. We've got a squat toilet from the new pack as well as a tub shower combo. Um, I really like the sink. It matches the cabinets in the kitchen um, and then it has this really cool like design in the sink basin. And then for decorations, I just kind of put this leaf rug like everywhere. Um, I really like the leaf rug. So I'm just kind of going with the idea that they bought one and it had like all of these in it like a pack of rugs, uh, as well as a robe and a little towel and toilet paper. We've also got the toothbrushes and um, the sink has a soap like attached to it. And for the upstairs hallway, I'm just gonna create like a little activity space in here. So I put the bookcase as well as an easel with some decorations for the easel. And this is an item that's like a career reward from the base game. Uh, so you have to use cheats if you wanna unlock it. And that cheat is bb.ignoregameplayunlocksentitlement. Uh, it's a really long one, so I'll put it on the screen for you guys. But you really only need to use that cheat if you're building with a sim on the lot like I do. I'm also going to put this canvas rack here. It's got a bunch of like random old paintings that your sim could have potentially made. Uh, I think there's also a swatch that has like no paintings on it. So if you want to use the plain one, that's fine too. Also put in light switches in every room as well as an AC unit and a radiator. We're gonna move on to the outside though. I'm working on the porch here. I've got like a small little pool. Did get a floaty from the four rent pack. So I'm gonna pop one of those in the pool later on. And because at this point I was like really running out of money, I just decided to give myself a bigger budget and like not care about what I put in it um, as far as like decorations go. So I just added a bunch more things. We have a radio in the living room now. Like if I can't complete the vision with the budget of 20,000 simoleons, I'm just gonna add some more. I know that like starter homes are really useful but I never really play in a starter home I always end up immediately bulldozing houses and it's mostly because some starter homes that are like larger starter homes feel really empty more of a lived-in space but we're gonna be moving on to the landscaping now I'm just trying to find a place to put the trash bin like halfway through building this I forgot that our sim had a dog so I remembered I had to build like some kind of a backyard uh, for the dog to go potty in and that's really only if you lock your sims doors uh, I don't lock my sims doors so half the time the dog it's just like running around outside like wherever it wants to because it's the sims and i don't really think your sims dogs can bite people like i've never experienced that maybe one of the more like aggressive traits dogs do but i never do that for my sims dogs like i know that dogs can like fight people in other people's saves i did have a hard time setting up this backyard just because i didn't really know what i wanted to do about the landscaping we didn't get any new landscaping with this pack which is actually kind of upsetting because it would have been nice to at least get the mapuka. I think it's just like seaweed, but it's like the stuff that's around the bottoms of the trees that are like surrounding the lot. But in general, there's just like a lot of really good landscaping in debug because it's all the landscaping that's in the world. I just wish they would add it to the catalog because that would make things so much easier. But that is all for today's speed build. We'll be getting to the tour in just a few moments, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button because it really helps out. I upload a couple videos a week, so subscribe and hit the bell button to get a notification every time I post a new video. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you all in the next video. Dag dag!